Hello and welcome to the Open Octave MIDI Quick Start Tutorial for the Conductor. The Conductor is made up of two parts, the Patch List in the upper panel and the Patch Sequencer itself in the lower panel. Let's go to the upper panel and audition the patches that we want to add to the sequencer. Click on each entry and the patch will load in the sampler and you'll be able to hear it. When you've decided which patches you want in the sequencer, double click on each one and they'll be added. To insert patches in a patch sequencer chain or sequence, select them. In this example, We've added two patches to a sequence, legato and staccato. Now let's go and put some notes in. We select Ctrl F8 for step input. OK, we've added some notes and now it's time to start putting in our patches. Position the playback cursor at the first node and select the first patch in the sequence. You can enter patches directly from the sequencer or from the canvas using the backslash key. We add each patch in turn and if at any time we want to end a single patch, we simply select that patch in the sequencer, hit backslash and it will be added to the timeline. We go back to the sequencer and select the patch with which we want to start the sequence again. We've slowed this down so you can see what actually happens. Let's hear what it sounds like. OK, that pizzicato sound doesn't fit. When you move the playback cursor back over the notes, take a look at the text box in the top right of the window. Here we are at the pizzicato patch. Let's remove it with Control backslash. We then select the patch that we want to replace it with and hit backslash to insert it in the timeline. The conductor was designed and built by the Open Octave team specifically for those composers who have to handle large sample libraries and insert many patches in the timeline for their project. We hope you enjoy using Open Octave MIDI. Bye for now.